channel and if it's your first time welcome thanks for checking this channel out i'm steve your host for the redheaded adventures and this is part two of the giving house every time i went to this house it just kept giving up more and more stuff so in this we conclude our search on the house and at the end i will show you the good stuff and give some explanations some history and tell you about some of the items I found absolutely phenomenal so stick around check it out and I'll see you at the end I just flipped the plug and I saw just a little touch of um, shiny so let's take a look together see what it is hope it's good and I hope it's on my bucket list Let's check it out. Okay, you can just see it right there. No, that's gotta be a bucket lister for me. I think so. It's a thimble. Yes. Oh boy. That is a thimble. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Ah, oh, man. Yes, this is my first thimble. Um, I don't remember what it came up on the Knox, but well. It is coming clean. It could be something. And there's a hallmark right there. Nice. We'll clean it up. Oh, that car was the owner coming by to put out trash and I showed him some of my finds. So this has a circle number eight right there. It rings up 13 to 15 on the Knox, so this is going to be like a chrome plated uh, thimble, not really old, but could be come from the 50s, but that's my first thimble. Nice. There's something red in the hole. You can see that. Oh, hey, that's a lock. That is cool. It's like one of those little diary locks. Oh, it's got something on it right there. I don't know 
if I can get that cleaned up the reed. This is like kind of a zinc cast material. Uh, that's cool. That little red lock I just found uh, says bison on one side. I'm not sure what it says on the other side. And again, check your hole a second time because there's something there. <laughs> right there. And we have a nickel. Yay. Pretty crusty. Well, the coin is not crusty, it's the uh, mud on it. Uh, that looks like a 1949. Cool. I just cracked the earth. This rang up in the 12 range. Not very far from that last one. We have a house on this side is Jefferson. It's got the brown patina. Let's see if we can get a date on this one. 54. Cool. Well, let's go get some more. How oh, sketchy. High teens and mid twenties. I'm gonna guess this is a dime, but it's not gonna be silver. Yep, there's Rosie. There's a date. But I'm not seeing it too well. Pretty dirty. Anything special, I'll let you know. Got a couple of dogs in the background cheering me on. Hey, go get them. Dig, dig. So I am. And that's a dime. Uh, that's a rosy. I'm not sure. Man, that's pretty bad condition smooth looks like a 2000 series 2000 something I just stuck the shovel in the ground lifted the dirt a little bit and I think I see the handle of something really really cool uh, don't know if it's complete I don't know if it's broke or what I think this is really cool so let's take a look right there check that out let's see if we can get in closer here it's a gun whoa that is a gun. Nice. That is really cool. I don't know if this is just a cast gun or if this actually the trigger actually moved and the hammer dropped. I mean, it's got the gap right there. It's got the trigger for it. This might have been a little, one of those little one-shot cap guns. That is so cool. Alright, 
take toothbrush to it. Let's clean it up a little bit. Oh, there's some initials right there. RB. I'll be able to look this one up. Nice. So toothbrushed it. Got a lot of the extra junk off of it. Now you can actually pull the hammer back just a little bit. I'm not going to force it. I don't want to break it. And you can see the trigger moves too at the same time. That is freaking awesome. Looks like we found something. Uh, a token. Lucky piece. Lucky, I don't know, something pay. Nice. It's a token. Oh, man. Uh, it's a little toasty. But let's see if we can do a little clean up on it. Did a little bit of uh, field cleaning. <laughs> this is absolutely a cool token. It is a product token. Um, it says sponsored at the top. Portsmouth Pure Oil Dealers. And uh, I'll have to get this side cleaned up a little bit better. But that's the side I can actually read pretty good. That is awesome. Nice. Um, Mid-20s. It looks shiny. Oh, yo, yo, yo. It's another Mercury. Look how clean that comes out. 1943. Don't rent the silver. Uh, too late. Nice. Hmm. I think this rang up as a nine or so. I can just see it right there. Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. No way. That is another lead Indian. And it's only half of him. Set him right there. Ten pointer. The other half might be in the hole. Let's hope. Well, let me dig. Oh, there it is. Yes, we got the other half. I hope that's the other half. Okay, piece of clear ground. Uh, let's see. Yes, he's all there. Missing the tip of his rifle. Looks like he got dinged a lot more, but uh, he's mostly there. Awesome! Yeah!
that is cool another lead Indian noise I think I found one more piece of that Indian here so I think that's where his feet and stuff would go that's the stand and then his headpiece here I'm pretty sure nope there's the feet the feet go here where does it go here anyway that's the stand there and then he goes there there might be a piece missing but it's pretty close to full so there's the head the legs and the stand Nice. <laughs> well, that was great. The battery died there from that last one. And fantastic finds. But I'm not going to bore you with all the junk. That was a lot of junk. Bottle caps, can slaw, pole panels, and stuff. and a 43 very nice um, I did find this small lock I'll put a picture up of this uh, of the original uh, packaging but it says bison on one side and uh, I believe this was from a company in 1968 so i'll put the picture up and uh, let you see what it looks like uh, so i did get three of these now in my videos i say cowboys and indians i'm not using the word indian as a derogatory term uh, they are indigenous people to america but right on the bottom right there it says england this is a scout and he's missing the top piece of his um rifle 
<laughs> the cowboy uh, is missing his head. And this one here, he's missing a small chunk of his body, but he doesn't need a base. I'll put up a picture on this one too. Uh, and uh, there are in the pictures and there's several of these. And this base, I believe, would have come off another one, which I did not find, or I didn't dig the numbers. Uh -huh. And these would have been from uh, the 1950s era. So the picture, um, circle the items, show you the exact same ones that these are. So I'm gonna go have to do uh, hands-free. Got my notes. All right. This next item, <laughs> really cool. Um, dates from the 1950s. And at the time, it only cost 39 cents. So there it is, right there. This is, it'll have the circle right there, it says RR. This is a Roy Rogers cap gun. Um, and I do believe it might have been like on a keychain. There's a hole right there. So, Roy Rogers. In case you don't know Roy Rogers, uh, let's see. Roy Rogers was uh, born Leonard Franklin Sly in 1911. He passed away in 1998. He actually uh, was called King of the Cowboys. He started the Sons of the Pioneer, uh, and he starred in many films. And he was on radio, he had his own comic books, magazines, and movies. Uh, he started his own show in the 50s. I uh, believe it ran, so it says here, 100 episodes, six seasons from 1951 to 1957. That starred Roy Rogers, uh, his wife Dale Evans, his horse Trigger, which was a Palomino, and I believe there was a dog named Bullet. And he'd have all these adventures back in the cowboy days and of the 50s on TV. And then he would have a um, theme about it and he would say things at the end, a moral story to explain things, you know, like it's good to help out your neighbors, it's always be kind, things like that. Very famous guy and uh, great shows. All right, the next item has a real big history. Okay, so this is the token I found right there. I'll put up a picture. Um, the only picture that I could find was from a museum in Portsmouth, Ohio of an aluminum one. This is not aluminum. This is either uh, brass or copper. So on the one side, it says um, sponsored by Portsmouth Pure Oil dealers. Then on the other side, it'll say uh, Paul Wagner's Lucky Piece WPAY every day at 6 p.m. or daily at 6 p.m. So I'll put up a picture. Uh, Paul Wagner had his own show at WPAY radio station out of Portsmouth, Ohio. Uh, the history on that one is it was called uh, notes. Where's my notes? Here it is. Uh, prior to being known as WPAY, the station was called WHBD and was licensed in Bellefontaine and then moved to Portsmouth. So Paul Wagner had a 15 minute sports show. I'll put up a picture of Paul Wagner and he had a 15 minute sports show every day at 6 p.m and um, he worked there for quite some time. He also met his wife there, Ruth Wagner, 
and um, she started there in 1939. She was a weekly singer, and in 1946, she married the boss, the stace manager, the station manager, Paul Wagner. Uh, their career took them to Columbus, Indiana, Middletown, New York, Cincinnati, Ohio, San Juan, Puerto Rico, then back to Cincinnati, and they had a daughter. So quite the life. Uh, Paul passed away in 1980, um, and then his wife passed away in 2017. So this token <laughs> has traveled very far. Portsmouth, Ohio. Um, you can attach it to people, places, and things, which is amazing. Uh, any other information? No, I think that's it. We'll keep it short, keep it simple. Amazing finds just off this one piece of property. So we're going to cut it here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my videos and my channels. Thank you for the subscribers. And don't forget, wherever you go and whatever you do, have fun. As long as it's legal. Thanks, everybody.